price tag here doing a new video checking out some local fish stores I'm here in Talmadge Ohio here and I'm looking at the Royal Union tropical fish so we're about to go inside and check this place out and talk to the owner and see how this place is so without further ado let's get sophisticated Hey everybody, Price Tag here from Price Tag Aquariums. I'm here with Adam, and I'm here at the Royal Union Tropical Fish and Reptiles. And I'm here to look around at some local fish stores and try to get some insights and inspiration to expand my YouTube and as well as expand their business and anyone else who I decide to visit. So without further ado, Adam would like to ask you a few questions. Of course. Um, so how did you come up with the name of your store? Uh, so my, my naming is a little unique with everyone else. Everyone in the fish industry has something aquatics or tropical this or yep. whatever. The name of my company is uh, derived from the group of friends that I grew up with that helped me start this whole and gave me the confidence and inspiration to, uh, to start this whole business. So the group Royal Union was the name of my friend group in, in childhood. Awesome. So that's Perfect. that's how I got it, and it stands a little bit apart from the normal, you know, these aquatics or AB, uh, you know, all the aquatics and travelers, tropical fish and <laughs> reptiles. It's Royal Union. It's like oh, that's it's, awesome. It sounds a little different than everybody else. So that's good. I think that was good. one of the hard things that I had to try to think of on my yeah. channel. Yeah. Just try to think of something that someone hasn't already used. Right. So that's good. That's good to do. Um, so when and how did your business start? So I've been in the industry for about four or five years now. I actually have a background in IT, computers. Okay. Uh, but when I was doing my college education, I started working at a local fish store down nearby uh, my college. And I really fell in love with the business and the hobby. And I just said, hey, let's, let's give this whole fish store thing a try before we go, you know, work at a cubicle <laughs> all day long and, yeah. and enjoy. But I've, I've you know, <laughs> Found the good mentors. I found good That's support great. structures, and That's uh, awesome. just a couple months ago, we opened up and okay. we've been selling fish. And you said you've been open since April. <laughs> so, yes, April first was okay. the first day. So that's good. So relatively new, but yes. you're still going strong. That looks very like. strong. Yes, so that's been, good to hear. That's good. Um, what influenced your business to start? Uh, so I've always uh, wanted to be able to do something on my own. My, my I come from my family are all business owners, so okay. I was always kind of geared to be my own business owner in itself. Um, granted, I didn't know it was going to be in fish. Yeah. I always thought fish was going to be the hobby. Yep. Um, however, uh, you know how the cookie crumbles, and I'm in the fish business now. And uh, my mentor figure said, "Hey, you should do it." I said, "Sure, let's let's do it." And awesome. now here 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 we are. And you had a good strong support system with your family yes. and everything like yes. that, so that even makes it e easier for you. Um, so are you planning? Are you planning to expand your business at all? You always to stay here. Or? Always looking to always looking to the next step here. Okay. It's from you know expanding the store here to maybe putting another location, doing online sales, Perfect. maybe doing social media. Yeah. You know, just uh, looking to expand, expand, expand. Just keep growing and growing. Yep. That's awesome. That's a good goal for you. Yes. Um, so when do your shipments usually typically come in? You know, so if someone wants to get supplies or fish or reptiles of that nature, what's a good day to come in? So that? generally, Wednesdays and Thursdays are the best days for you know my customers to come in to get kind of the pick of the litter kind of deal because I usually get my fish and reptiles in on Wednesdays or Thursdays. Okay. Um, my customers will come to me asking for, hey, can you get this, that, and the other, and I will say, yeah, sure, whatever. So I'll put it down to an order list, see if I can, you know reasonably source the fish or the reptile Makes and sense. then I'll call them and say hey I can get it here at this time and at this price and yes or no and then they'll <laughs> you know they'll say yes or no and I'll get them in on Wednesdays and Thursdays that's awesome yeah if someone had like extra things like fish use equipment and stuff like that do you have like an incentive program for that or is it more like a drop off and you just kind of go from there yes yeah, so I, I I am a buy sell trade store here so right. anything anything comes and goes so you know, if someone has a uh, all these used tanks as we'll be seeing once we look around yes. uh, I'll have all these used tanks that come in from the community uh, and not only does that allow for people to get rid of their old tanks and you know stuff like that but it will also allow for new hobbyists yes. who aren't really ready to spend a thousand dollars on a brand new setup yeah. to kind of get into the hobby at a, at a lower rate yep. to see if this is something that they like because that is really 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 critical 
Yes. You can very easily get priced out in this in this oh, business yeah. in this hobby, and then you just say, oh, eh, fish aren't for me." <laughs> but if I can provide the incentive to get a hobbyist started That's cheaply and have them have early success, they will be a customer for life. That's a really good program for you yeah. because that way, you know, with any, um, I guess, aquarium stuff, a lot of people dive in, you know, and think that right. it's going to be something cheap, you know, that they can afford, and then when they get further into the hobby, it's actually more expensive than <laughs> Very, you think. Yeah. I know from experience myself, <laughs> yes. running my program yes. with my yes. channel, that it's just like, holy crap, there's yeah. a lot of stuff out there. It gets very expensive <laughs> very quick, so. and uh, I, if I can get that bar as low as possible, um, you know, I would sacrifice short-term gains for yes. long-term gains. You that know, all just, makes sense. I want lifetime customers coming in. That's you know, I'm young, I want young people in this area to grow up with me in this hobby. What makes your store stand out from all the rest of the big box stores like PetSmart, Petco, and Pet Supplies Plus? So in other words, what makes your store truly unique that would bring your customers in here as opposed to going there and they're like, wow, well, I want to rather go here instead? There's a couple things. Uh, like any local fish store, um, I stand apart from the big box stores from having a larger variety of fish. Okay. I have more personable one-on-one -on -one experience. It's that you get to speak with the owner. Me, yes. the owner. The you know the business stops and starts with me. You know, you know if there's a problem, a question, if you want to, let's make a combo deal on something. <laughs> I'm the more guy to talk to. to. More than willing um, to talk about it and work things out. Yes, that sort of nature. I'm able to get more exotic stuff in. Um, I can I can source fish from air, different areas where I can, you know try to get more sustainably aquacultured fish that yeah. aren't just pumped through Asian trade routes and right, stuff like yeah, that. I've heard of that. Um, so I try to really emphasize quality of fish and it reflects on the price but I would rather sell you a better fish at a higher price that would live and do better for you Perfect. than have you go across the street and spend a dollar on a guppy yeah. that is plagued with Terrible disease that what? it just hasn't been fed and yep. hasn't been well kept and the the big box store versus local fish store has so many pros and cons to each side of it. They do. Um, I just I, I I've always shopped the local stores and my personally myself and yep. You know, I like good. local fish stores personally just because the fact that you don't have that one on one experience. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you go to these big box stores, you just have your associates who. You know, have a general knowledge of yeah. things with an all around between every different di or a different type of pets and whatnot. Right. But when you come to a like a local fish store or a local pet store like here, for example, you can actually have more deep down experience and <laughs> people yeah. you know know more than talk about than just your regular associate <laughs> at a store that just got here. Today. Right. So, They'll get to know me. I'll get yes. to know them. They walk through the door. Hey, customer, how are you? How's the neon tetras doing today? Yeah. Or whatever. And, and you get to know people like yeah. on a little more of a personal level too, yeah. so that's what makes it a good, great experience too. Yeah. So I found lots of great friends out of my customer base, okay. and, and you know it's just you know it's a you know it's a hobby store. I mean that's yeah. that's the fish industry. You don't need fish to live. You gotta you gotta want the yes. fish. And part of the experience is coming to my store is being able to interact with me, the personality behind the store. Absolutely. And uh, that's great. another good draw of coming here. Perfect. All right. Well, thank you. Thank we are going to make a, a tour of the place. Awesome. We're thank you. Look around, and then um, we'll go to the next section. Awesome. So I want to talk a little bit about all your used equipment, yes. and uh, like we had mentioned in the video earlier. So why don't you tell me a little bit about that? So like we said, I try to get the bar of entry as low as possible for people who are just looking to get into the into the hobby. Uh, so I always like to offer these used kind of tanks here, everything from small to you know large, medium, kind of kind of. Whatever walks through the door, you know, I, I I I try to clean out price fairly and get get uh, out of the door with someone that will really appreciate an aquarium started up, because uh, I know that they will. Hey, I got the fish tank here. I'm going to continue to come here and shop here. It will be it, it'll be a good lifetime customer, like we discussed previously. That's perfect. Uh, so I try to keep a good, healthy stock of used tanks coming in and out, and uh, you know, keeping you know large, small. Reptile focus, saltwater focus, freshwater reptiles, you know, big chameleons and 40 gallons and 45 gallons. I just try to keep a little bit of everything when it comes to use. I generally don't say no to anything used, just bring it in. We'll see what we can do, some credit or some fish, whatever, and uh, we will, uh, we'll, we'll get something going. Perfect. We've had some pretty large Oscars in here. 
Yep, those are the, the, the fish that come in that get too big for the, uh, for the aquarium and people don't know what to do with them and instead of just throwing them into the river, uh, they can bring them in here and I can trade them down for smaller fish or fish that will fit better in their tanks and, right. and uh, do better. Perfect. The main attraction of the fish store is the fish. So these are my freshwater sections and over there is my saltwater section. Uh, one thing that kind of I stand apart against is with the, with the, with the uh, big box stores is all of my tanks are on individualized systems. Most of these tanks also uh, have UV sterilizers put into them and making sure the fish are at top health is, is paramount. So as we're, and you see, I you know, do very big water changes on all the tanks once a week. Every tank gets, gets a large water change to make sure that the fish are doing well, eating well, and uh, are ready to go back to their, their, you know, their aquarium that they are gonna go live in. Uh, so I have a good amount of freshwater fish and saltwater fish. I have corals, you know, everything that the, the aquarium person could, could need. I have little nano tanks with like, smaller celestial pearl danios and, and neocardinia shrimp and uh, rice fish and more shrimp and I keep bettas in these little tanks here. You know, there, there's a very, very wide variety of fish in the, you know, 20 something tanks that I have here. Uh, I've, I've done, you know, I've, I've worked hard on getting a very good variety of fish in the smaller footprint. Uh, with these stands, I, all, I, I built my own stand and this will support all of the weight of the tanks while also being able to do it cheaply and effectively. Uh, it just consisted of two by fours that I have notched out and uh, they're simple and strong and that's the way I like it. Perfect. Yeah, I really like the way that your shelf system is set up. You've done a really nice job on it. Thank you. All right, Adam. So I know on my channel that I'm more of a fish hobbyist, but also like you had mentioned that the reptiles kind of go hand in hand because they, you know, use tanks and, you know, anything else of that nature. So why don't you explain to me a little bit about your reptile spot here and yeah, so like you, fish are my main focus, but again, I, I, I love all creatures and a lot of my customer base will both have reptiles and fish or be interested in both. So the reptile section is a little bit newer uh, than opposed to all the fish sections, so it's constantly a work in progress. Uh, you know, pinning down what to keep, what to keep, what to sell, what not to sell, what does well, blah, blah, blah. Uh, has always been kind of a work in progress here at the shop. It's just a little bit newer, uh, so I keep everything from you know water turtles to bearded dragons, basilisks, skinks, a couple different types of tortoises, smaller frogs, and there, there's a, a, a variety of just your more like basic kind of creatures uh, that I have. Uh, again, if a customer is looking for something a little bit more exotic, I'm, I'm always more than happy to go out and try to find it for them. Uh, but the things that I keep in, in stock here are like the safe options, you know, it's, they're easy to keep, they're, they're, they're easy to maintain and grow, uh, the customers just, it's very popular animals that I'm keeping here, so it's always just uh, a work in progress here in the reptile section, it's a work in progress everywhere. So first off, I'd like to say that Adam was a very generous guy for letting me come check out his store and do a video on it. I really appreciated him being so open and down to earth about how he started Royal Union and what his plans are moving forward. With that being said, Adam is very knowledgeable and extremely helpful to make sure you have the best one-on-one -on -one experience at a local store. Just like he said, it's a more personal experience coming to Royal Union. Adam is a very approachable business owner, and if you have any questions, concerns, or propositions, he's the guy to talk to.
when I came to do this video, Adam was doing water changes to his tanks. He does this once a week to make sure his fish are at top-notch health when they leave his store for his customers. That alone itself shows his dedication to the hobby as well as a business owner to make sure his customers are getting the best quality for their money. And that little blue MOBA front toes you see back there, I took him home with me. I mean, come on, I couldn't do this video without going home and leaving with something, right? You're welcome, Adam. Gotta support your local fish stores. And if you love the fish hobby enough, you'll spend the extra money, time, and effort to get the knowledge that you want and are looking for especially here at Royal Union, where I believe you will get the best experience. That's a big urchin. <laughs> Nonetheless, the saltwater selection was just as good as the freshwater selection. Everything was happy, healthy, and in good looking shape. So, can't complain too much, right? I think I found a few dories. I've always liked these fish. I don't care what anybody says. One of these days I'll get into the salt water portion of the fish hobby. I still got some things up my sleeve that I want to do with the fresh water. But once I'm done with that, onward to the next big step. Whenever I do dive into the salt water portion of the hobby, I think these two fish are going to be the first two on my list. Like Adam says here, these fish are very easy for beginners and easy to maintain and feed. Uh, or is that purple the... and yellow is a royal grama. Okay. And it's a type of basilet. Okay. And these guys here, the these white... are the uh, Bengai cardinal fish. Okay. They're really pretty. Yeah, they are. They, they're great community fish, great starters, easy to keep, easy to feed, and stuff like that. And this is another bucket list fish I'd like to get someday and eventually would like to start a koi pond. But living in the great state of Ohio, we see a lot of cold weather. So it'd be interesting to try that someday. You see a good amount of fish supplies, fish food. axolotls, but we're kind of neat. And a selection of heaters, anything to clean your glass. Got a good amount of different types of rock to choose from. Got your cleaning supplies, Texas Holy, quite a bit to choose from.
got your API test kit. Anything to do with water parameters, fish additives, malefix, anything to make sure your fish are healthy and happy. Got some plenty of fish filters to choose from. Of course, we've got the FX series, which is my favorite. It's nice to have some extra stuff to go with it. Different stuff for canister filters. That's nice to see. And your coral reef rock, which is my personal favorite. Here we actually got the real owner of Royal Union. His name is Toast, as Adam yep. says. He runs the place. Yes. I just do all the work. <laughs> <laughs> he does a good job at supervising, yep. huh? Best supervisor. <laughs> On his uh, union mandated break. Yes, so, I can tell. So just kicking back, relaxing. <laughs> yep, that's where that's where Toast is at. <laughs> Alright. Well, here we are again at Royal Union Tropical Fish Reptiles here in Talmadge, Ohio. Yes. Well, thank you very much for coming out. It's yep. been a great time. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. See ya. Later.